My name is Sonia Kasparian and I do two collections, one under my branded name which is Couture and another one under the line Urchin which is Redesign. My studio is located in Northeast Portland off Alberta. I was thinking uh, about the elements to me that spoke of Italian design which is very sensual, very earthy, very figure conscious, very um, feminine and also very classic. And I was thinking about, well, how do I integrate Portland in Italian design? Because it reminded me of, you know, gray, rainy days and dew and sort of that kind of dark, mysterious, very sensual kind of coloring you get in the winter here. You know, sometimes it starts with the sketch. Sometimes it starts with the mood I'm trying to evoke. Sometimes, you know, if there's a specific customer or a shoot or something I'm designing for, that begins the inspiration. Sometimes it's the fabric. Sometimes it's silhouette, because I'm a sculptor, and so I think in terms of shape. When I think of a Sophia Loren, or I think of a, you know, Gina Lilla Brigida or something like that, to me, this is who I would picture. Would I put Sophia Loren in this dress? That's who I think about. Things change as you begin to drape, so I started working with this and I realized I didn't want to do cutouts in the dress. I wanted to make it a solid and then work more with color and texture. So then from here, I began the process of building the undercarriage, the structure that goes under it. So there's a corset, there's a vintage corset I began with underneath here, and then I went back through and rein reinforced all the bust area so the whole thing is very structured because this is a very structured piece right here and it has to be able to hold this shape no matter what. So all of this was re-engineered and rebuilt in with elastic and boning and overlays. And then after rebuilding the corset itself and structuring the sides, um, I went ahead and used iridescent chiffon, which is this fabric that you see here. And I did a double layer overlay and seamed it all in. And then I began the process of draping. So here from the back, you can see some of the layers of chiffon. So there's two throughout the body, there's one throughout the skirt, and then you just very carefully begin taking each and every band of fabric over and over and over the body into all the nooks and crannies and creating the fold lines and then pinning down every single inch of it to be able to get the silhouette. This is the initial fabric I started with and it's a big huge panel of lace which then I've cut into strips very carefully and so then I take this and I ruffle this and I very carefully measure every band that's going to go along this dress tier by tier so I know exactly how much of each one I need because I'm going to take these and then hand dip each one of these separately into an ombre effect. I love couture because couture is art and I'm an artist and couture allows you to be able to do things, amazing things. You get to really push yourself and invent new ways to work with fabric and really think about the form. And there's no way to really do great form work without doing couture. And it has to begin with a drape. It cannot begin with a pattern. And really couture just means that you are taking the time and the artistry to be able to create something that is not mass producible. You cannot mass produce it. It has to be done one at a time. And it really, each piece is a piece of art. And I'm a sculptor and I'm an artist. And so for me, couture is like what I want to do as far as fashion.